So as part of this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate something new called variables. Now, variables are needed in programming for a reason. So you've done your first program, which prints hello world. But what we're going to do is I'm going to do a little program that says, um, hello, what is your name? Now, what we can do is we can actually get inputs. We can say, all right, name equals input, all right? And what that will do here is we can say print name. And if I was to run this, uh, I'm going to run it now. It's now asking me, what is my name? And I'm going to say, uh, Mr. Chambers. And when I press enter, that prints that out, okay? Now there are lots of different ways to use variables. Now a variable is basically a temporary store of data that can change in your programming. So what we've got here is name is like our container. So whatever we type in at this point is now stored in name and I can empty the container by doing a print statement. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little story, okay? Uh, and I'm going to do it slightly differently. All right, uh, print. All right, there once were three little pigs. So we're going to do a bit of a story here, okay? And this time I'm going to go pig one equals input. What was the name of pig one? Pig. Two input. What was the name of pig two? And we're going to go pig three equals input. What was the name of pig three? Okay, so what we've got here, we're kind of working the story, the three little pigs. Now, what I want to do is use each of these variables because I've got pig one, pig two, pig three. If you want to, you can actually run the program and test it. It's always good to test in case you get a syntax error, forget a bracket, but we're going to run that. Uh, pig one was Ray, pig two was Jenny, pig three was Kirsty. Okay, so we've now got our variables, but we've not done anything with pig one, two, or three. What we can now do is we can actually use those so print, their names were, and we can join them using a plus operator, pig1, comma, plus, pig2, plus, comma, plus, and, plus pig three. And just to show how this works, what we've got here is we've got an output statement. We've got pig one, which goes in, pig two, and pig three. Let's see how this outputs. So we're going to run it again. Ray, uh, let's go for Imran, Jenny, uh, names were Ray, Imran, and Jenny. Now you can obviously, uh, I could put a space there and that changes the formatting of it. So what we are doing here is we are creating, we are outputting strings. We are storing them into variables uh, using an input and we are outputting them, okay? So that is your second tutorial on how to use variables in a very simple way.